My name is Ben Onik. I'm the founder and co-director of the Human Performance Lab at the University of Calgary in Canada. At the beginning of my career, I was in Zurich at the ETH, and I was the director of the biomechanics laboratory there. And then the University of Calgary approached me and asked me whether I would come and develop a center for movement research. The vision that the university leadership had at that time, that they said, we want to be strong in that area of human movement sciences. And it sounded really good, and I came, and uh, that's what we have now. The Human Performance Lab is a research center with about 175 members. And the uniqueness of that research center is that it has a multidisciplinary basis. The Human Performance Lab tries to answer questions that are relevant for human movement, exercise and sports. We have all the equipment that is state of the art. We have systems that measure the movement. So we have 12 camera systems that do that and collect that information. So we have in here everything from medicine, from engineering, from physics, from psychology, whatever you can use to quantify human movement we have here in the lab. The effect of our work on the development of MBT shoes I think is substantial. MBT has a, a, an interesting unit within the company which is called the Academy. And the Academy is basically the body that translates research finding into product ideas and so on. But in addition to that, we also have developed some methodologies that each new product that comes onto the market has to fulfill certain criteria. So we have helped that they have products that do the same thing over a long time. And I think that is the most important thing because, I mean, the MBT show is relatively expensive. And if it doesn't do what they say it does, that's a problem. But since we have developed that methodology to check that, every time they put a new product on the market, they have the insurance that these products will do the right thing.